What's up guys, Sean here. I just wanted to do a quick little video unboxing with you guys. I did actually crack into this already. This is a clip that I ordered for my Demco 8020.5 that I am currently in the process of building out. I have scales and a backspacer on the way. Should have been here by now, but um, it's been held up in shipping, so it's not of fault of the maker it's completely on the postal service but my clip did just come in and i am super amazed so i want to give a huge shout out to lynch northwest check this out here one of a kind i had a little special request so i emailed them and keep in mind I emailed them just as Sean, a random, you know, knife guy. My email does not give any hints away to my channel or the fact that I have a YouTube channel, and nor did I mention that, and nor do I mention that anytime that I'm talking with these companies or anything, and I like it that way. I like to see, uh, you know, how they're going to handle my questions, concerns, uh, and deal with me the same exact way they would a random customer. So I can then in turn give you guys an accurate, um, you, you know, an accurate account of what you can expect with their customer service. And that I'm blown away. So I emailed them. My special request was Hey, I just put in an order for one of your clips for my Demco 8020.5. I have a little bit of a special request. If possible, I wanted to get a small American flag or the Lynch Northwest feather laser engraved on the clip. Well, I got an email back the same day and this was, I was speaking to Casey and he said, yeah, sure thing, we'd love to. He didn't say anything about, oh, this is gonna cost extra, or maybe this, maybe that, no hesitation. He said, yes, sure thing, we'd love to. He didn't go into any details. So honestly, I was expecting just the feather to be laser engraved because they have those clips optional. Uh, on their website, it's an option that you can select and the feather would be lar larger in that case where it takes up most of this section. God bless you. I have my daughter in here with me and I'm showing her how I do my YouTube videos. So she is uh, shadowing me right now. But anyways, so I, I figured it would be that since that's something they have already done. They have the sizing and everything already worked out. Well, no. They went above and beyond, and he put the feather and an American flag laser engraved on here. Resized the feather so that both of these would fit, and I'm sure he he had to figure out the fitment of the flag also to put that on there. So, you know, that's extra time. Uh, one, once you pay for the machine that does the laser engraving, I don't think there's really any additional cost to them beyond you know, the initial investment to do this, but it's time um, involved and in labor because they, they have to, you know, place out the fitment and everything on the computer for them to be able to do this. So I'm just, I'm completely, uh, I'm very happy and completely amazed that they actually went through the trouble to do this for me um, without knowing that I was a YouTube channel or anything, just a normal, regular person. And they did this for me. All I had to do was ask. And I also said, you know, uh, when, when I had the special request, uh, I made sure I put in there, you know, if, if it's possible. And if not, you know, that's totally fine. Also, I understand because you know, doing this extra stuff, that can be a hassle. I don't know what his workload looks like. He might be extremely busy for all I know, 
So he might have really went out of his way, like big, big time to do this. And that just goes to show um, this is a company that truly values their customers and goes above and beyond to make them happy. Do nice things like this for them. So I am very grateful for that. And another nice thing they do, they put in these nice stickers in with everything you order. And also, this is my favorite part. I have a couple of these now. Every order, handwritten note, thanks Sean for your MD support, I guess because I'm in Maryland. Signs it, and it's. I'm pretty sure that this actually influenced me that with uh, m most of my sharpening jobs, I do a little handwritten note also because I wanna let people know that I truly appreciate them. And I think it's a really nice gesture. Um, Handwritten notes are just, maybe, maybe it's cause I'm, I grew up from a time before cell phones and stuff. So the little added personal touch to stuff is kind of nostalgic in a way to me, if that's the right word for it, but yeah. Really, really cool stuff. Really excited to get this bad boy on here. I'm not gonna install it in this video. I'm actually going to hold off for my scales and backspacer to get here, most likely, because I don't wanna be pulling this on and off the knife. Um, well, I say that now, I'll, I'll, depending on how long the scales take, it's already been well over a week, but, um, yeah, there's a good chance that I might throw this on, but it's it's nothing that you guys haven't seen or nothing that needs any tips or instruction. It's very straightforward. Just make sure you're using quality Torx drivers. I use the Weha Soft Touch Torx drivers. Have them linked in the description down below. Um, and I've already, in almost every video, I've gone through all the reasons why you really do want to make that investment and how much of a game changer and lifesaver it is. It'll save you a lot of hassle, a lot of headaches. Um, and also, if you haven't seen it yet, this is my new fresh edge on my new 3V blade that I bought from Brian Kim, also known as Transparent Knives. I went ahead and put a 16 degree per side edge on this bad boy and this thing is screaming sharp. Uh, I believe this came in at 23 grams on the best tester. Completely insane, nasty sharp edge. Um, this one right here, one of my other prized possessions, my River's Edge Cutlery Manix 2. I just sharpened this one up. If you follow me over on Instagram, then you've already seen this edge. And believe it or not, I actually sharpened this twice. I sharpened it, put up the video of the results and everything, and then I sharpened it again right after, made a little bit of adjustments. The edge just didn't have quite, um, quite the bite that I was hoping for. This current edge feels really good, but I do believe I can get a little bit more out of it. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I am going to go ahead and sharpen it again, but first, I'm going to completely flatten and, uh, what is it called? Flat and lap, lapping my stones? No, dressing, dressing my stones. All right, so I, I did recently, uh, before sharpening this, I did flat my stones. If you wanna know how to do that, go check out Gunny Sharp Talk. That is Scott Gunn's YouTube channel. And he has a great video showing you how to flatten your stones. Um, I did it a little bit of a ghetto way because I didn't have a nice tempered piece of glass and silicone carbide laying around to do it. But I did actually order that stuff. So I'm going to be doing a video showing you guys how I do it um, the right way. But the makeshift way that I did was I put 
uh, wet dry sandpaper pretty much match up the grit as close as you can to the stone put it on top of a piece of glass wet everything real good you want lots of water and you're going to basically do the same thing you know you're moving it forward maybe diagonal side to side um, you want to stick to those ways if you're doing it on sandpaper if you're doing it with the uh, silicone carbides or aluminum oxide powder you can go in circles and all kinds of stuff but when you're using the sandpaper it i believe what scott said was that it can actually round your edges if you do the circles and stuff on the sandpaper and it also leaves a little bit more of a, a less flat surface because of all the the divots in the the sandpaper it's not like an abrasive that can slide around like you would have with the silicone carbide or aluminum oxide powder on top of a piece of glass with water where it can all kind of swish around so you know two different things but you can make do either way and that i do highly recommend doing that you want to take care of your nice stones i have the veneve resin bonded diamond stones they are very expensive and if you do not take care of them they can get dished out to where the center is worn away where the stone is used primarily and then towards the heel of the stone and the tip of the stone or the bottom and the top it'll be closer to the, the thickness that it was originally so it'll kind of get dished out in the middle and if you let that go too far it's you know a real pain in the ass to flatten it and you end up wasting more material so yeah keep up with your stuff and it will take care of you and one last thing i'll show you guys real quick i know this has gone on a lot of different topics but i've had a crazy busy weekend and i just wanted to fill you guys in on a couple things it's my spider co capara you guys have seen this quite a bit i have a full review on this that i did many many months ago this is one of my all-time favorite knives, one of my most carried and most used knives. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. This is maybe my third or fourth edge that I've put on this, and I just did this one two nights ago. And I actually think that this might be the sharpest edge that I've ever done. This edge is insanely sharp. This is at 14 degrees per side. And I finished this off with the Veneve F800. And then I strapped on basswood with three and one micron gunny juice. Um, I expect this to also be in the 20s, if not lower, on the best tester. So, um, yeah, uh, you guys will be seeing more of this one and this one. And also this one, once I get this... Uh, edge figured out see what kind of finish this 204 p seems to do the best with For some reason i just don't I, I just think it has more in it so i'm not it, most people would be blown away with the current level of sharpness so it's not bad by any means 100 percent acceptable even by my standards but just the fact that i know that I can get more out of it, it'll bother me because I'm extremely OCD. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.